Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Teardown. Yes, it's been a long, long time since we played this. Uh, but basically I've been playing a lot of super auto pets recently. We're probably in the triple digits for the amount of hours I've played that game. And I thought considering I have a 3090, it's probably worth giving it a bit of a workout. I'm worried it's piled on the pounds. It's got a bit of podge around the middle. And whilst looking at Teardown, I saw there's a new update with loads of new levels and stuff. But more importantly, there's now actual mod support. There's Steam Workshop. So that's where we're going to go straight away. But before we get into that, you might be wondering what it takes to run a game like Teardown and all these crazy mods. Well, I'm super excited to announce that I've teamed up with Apex Gaming PCs to bring you my very own custom line of PCs. They're perfect for gaming, streaming, content creation, and even a cheeky bit of engineering. And yes, we all know that building a computer yourself is usually cheaper than going for a pre-built, but this takes all the hassle out of it and you know that's been built by professionals that know what they're doing. If you check out the link below, you'll see I've got different spec machines for different needs and different budgets. And if you use code engineer, you'll get a 5% discount. So if you find your PC suddenly does this, or perhaps this, then consider buying your next machine through Apex and help support my channel as well. Anyway, let's get back to today's video. So we're starting on this incredible map. It's a fully destructible bridge. Uh, oh, oh god. <laughs> it's not the best. I literally just stepped on it and now it's falling apart already. But uh, let's take a car and you can see it actually moves as you drive along it. Just like a real bridge. Maybe that wasn't the best example. Let's get something a little bit heavier. Hmm, still not moving. Still not moving. But yeah, look at the size of this map. This is beautiful. Oh, by the way, I've, I've got the ability to fly now. Oh, God. What's happening there? Uh, for some reason, bridge doesn't like existing anymore. What is going on with that piece? All right, anyway, it seems to have settled a little bit. Now, but let's see how bridges do. This is this weapon's called an Omni Cutter and basically it allows you to do that. And it sends like a giant snake thing that just cuts through anything in its path. Uh, beautiful. I want to know if this bridge works like a real bridge. So if I were to cut that bit off, will this middle piece collapse? No, I think because it's connected by those stairs. If we chop those off and come around this side and chop that off. Oh, there you go. Look, it's connected there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go whoop. And that cuts a perfect circle. <laughs> oh, I love this tool. I love this tool. Right, ready? Whoop. That's the noise you got to make when you use this. Right, now that middle bit isn't connected to anything. Although, what are they? What are they? It's like cables. Damn cables. Oh, God. All right, this bridge is obviously very well engineered. It's staying up far too easy. So let's do a bit of that. Slice it right down the middle. Oh, that is awesome. And it's gone. It is gone. Oh, love to see. Look how far the bloody laser thing goes. All right, you are being very annoying. Will you be quiet, please? Maybe it isn't. What's making that noise? Oh, it's that. Oh, <laughs> it, it didn't like being cut. All right, so another weapon I've got that I want to test out on the bridge is an asteroid strike, as it says at the bottom. So coming in hot. There it is. Ready? Oh, <laughs> oh man, that took a beating. The bridge seems to be OK, though. What if we do one on each of these pillars? Right, there you go. Oh, they're all coming in at different angles. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Is it going to stand? Man, what a bridge this is. It survived ish. Oh no, the end's coming down. The end is coming down. Or is it? It's just about hanging on. What is going on this bridge? It's so strong. All right, there it goes. There it goes. The pillars are falling. Man, I've I've missed this game. You don't get this destruction anywhere else. Like I've been playing Minecraft recently. <laughs> The game has no physics. All right, and one more thing I want to do on this map. Can you see we have that find shelter 1918? It's a countdown. We've got to find shelter. I'm going to get in this car and I'm going to attempt to outrun what's about to happen. Right, ready? Go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, we flipped. Wait, run, run. Can you see what's happening? Basically, this mod is acid rain and you've got to try and dodge the rain, which is completely mullering the bridge. I might try and stay under here. I might be okay. Oh, God. This bridge is getting eaten. <laughs> oh, no. What's above me is starting to fail. I think because it was thick, it lasted a little bit. I might have to make another run for it. Oh, God. There's not a lot of bridge left. Uh, danger level three. Right. Sod it. I'm going to run. <laughs> Come on. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, we died. <laughs> the walls are melting again. All right. So I'm starting again, trying to outrun in this car. I'm going to try and not die. We, we got some acid rain in the roof. I'm trying to dodge. I don't really know why. 
quick. We're dying. We're dying. Leg it. Leg it. Right. I think we outrun. No, we're dead. Okay. Life advice. If there's ever acid rain in real life. Don't try and outrun it. Although we're going to try the tactic of standing under here again. All right. We're safe. I don't think my car's safe. Oh man. Look at the rain though. Okay. Starting to get worried about the integrity of the bridge now. I'm not even sure I could run across the next one even if I wanted to. Oh wow. This is getting pretty dangerous now. Oh no. <laughs> Right, we've disconnected that side. <laughs> oh god, that, why has that gone so high? Or have I fallen down? Thankfully, we're still attached by the cables, it looks like. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm pretty scared. Oh god, everything above me is falling. We're on danger level five. That sounds dangerous. Am I safe? Oh no, the cables have gone. The cables have gone. Are we... Oh, <laughs> we dead. All right, we can go take a look. Like this pillar got absolutely mullered. Look at all the holes in the bridge. It's so cool. And then down here, that's what remains of my car. Just the chassis remaining. Right, let's get on to another level. I've had enough of destroying bridges. It sort of hurts my soul a little bit. Oh, wow. What is this one? This is sort of eerie, isn't it? So it's like an upside down pyramid house, which I really want to destroy because that's just screaming architect designed at me. Like, look at the pool. It's got sloping sides. Look, I've fallen in. If I was a cat, I wouldn't be able to get out. I would drown. Uh, let's actually try and find the front door. I'm going to guess it's probably around this way. Now, uh, right, I think this is the private drive. You go up these steps and then you go through the front door. Let's go have a look. Oops. <laughs> well, I've broken in. I've broken into my own house. Am I assuming this is my house? I'm not sure. Look at these steps. Oh my God. God, this is hideous. Hideous architecture. Honestly, who wants to enter their house and then straight away go downstairs because you've just got a tiny little balcony with two chairs that no one's ever going to sit in. Uh, although, ooh, there is, there is upstairs here. All right, so we've got the world's worst lounge. We've got a random outdoor courtyard thing. What's through this door? A bedroom? What's through this? Oh, it's a bathroom with knobs on the wall. Yeah, then this room, another original bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> is that meant to be a wardrobe? I was like, yep, with a wardrobe. Okay, that's quite tilted. There's a painting on the wall, the Sun Shard A. I think I'd rather call that the Sun Shard A. Uh, oh, what is this? Huh? Huh, indeed. I've just killed it, whatever it is. That looks like a key. Is this a key? What is that? What the hell? All right, I'm going to take this in case it's a key. All right, bathroom in there. There's sort of eerie music going on, which I'm not a big fan of, if I'm honest. Shall we see what's down here? Oh, it's a Dyson. I've just pulled a Dyson off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the new Dyson V16. It hoovers everything. Here's the carpet before and here's after. I, I'm losing my marbles, aren't I? All right, what's in the fridge? Oh, God, is that a cucumber? The grey loner sort of looks like a grey boner. Anyway, <laughs> what is this? Oh, this goes outside. Okay, got utility room. Very nice. Oh, what's behind the grey boner? Look at this. It's a secret door. Oh, God. Where are we? Oh, that's not cool. Bloody architects. Glass stairs. You can't even see the edge. Ow. I fell down. Oh, man. What is this place? Okay, this is actually pretty cool. This sarcophagus is empty. Uh, out tray. Hidden tray. God, are these coffins? Says, says Zane on the lid. Deloitte. Right, I can open these. Oh, wow. Is that a mummy? I guess this is Deloitte. Yeah. This must be Zane. All right, what's over in this corner? Jim Phelp. Tennis coach, what? Sue O'Connor, accountant, what are these? Bob Bimus, gardener, weird. Although, check this out. Look at this car, gold plated. It is a nice Rolls. Oh, and by getting in, I've sort of glitched through the map. I can see how big this place is. It's a huge, like, pyramid under the inverted pyramid. What a cool level. Anyway, that was cool. That was a very cool level. Uh, however, as a product of architecture, I'm going to have to do this. Here it comes. Oh! <laughs> Oh, man, that will never get old. That will never get old. Beautiful. I think we're going to do a few more of those. Yeah, there they come. There they come. Ah, oh, stretching the old 3090s legs. <laughs> wow, that's a few more asteroids than I was expecting. I just got punted in the face. Probably made a coconut noise as it hit my head. I can't even see what I'm meant to be looking at now. That's, yeah, that's too many asteroids. <laughs> Matt, how many times did you click it? Bloody hell. Right, I think we're back. I think we're back. The telegraph pole has just fallen over. So has my frame rate. Oh man, that's a lot of smoke, right? The smoke has cleared. And the house has sort of survived. I tell you what though, I have missed this game. It's so cool watching things get destroyed. And to be fair, it's not really destroyed. Like you could take a photo from this side. And you could probably sell the house without anyone ever knowing. I do just want to check what's in this boathouse before we leave the level. 
My god, it's a boat! Now the question is, is that part of the house or was that already there? I don't know. Hey look, I found a tennis court. I'm going to do a serve. I'm going to do one of these jumping serves. Ready? Bounce the ball a couple of times. Huh. Alright, sort of a delayed serve. There it comes. <laughs> the net flaps. All right, I think that's what we call an ace. Uh, let's go to the next level. Oh man, coins came out. So this is the Super Mario Bros level. And uh, the mod I've equipped is the Thanos Snap. So you can literally just snap your fingers and you can watch things disintegrate. All right, I'm quite intrigued to see. Can we go down these holes? Oh, it looks like we can. Oh, we're in the underground bit. Yeah, that's that's a thermite cannon. What's down the other one? Nothing. I'll show you nothing, game. Man, it is really, really satisfying watching things get annihilated. I've just done the box that I'm stood on. This whole platform should disintegrate. Oh god, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> oh, and it shows underneath is where we drop down the old pipe. Oh, look at that. Even in Mario, you can see they use the strongest shaped beams to try and support their bridges. Anyway, what else we got? All right, here we go. We are on a space station. Not just any old space station. Oh, there's actually like zero gravity in here. That's quite cool. Oh god, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I sort of just destroyed a hole in the side of the ISS. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but if we just ignore that and go to this side, we are in space. We've got the moon, we've got the space station, and we've got the Earth. It is beautiful. And uh, the weapon in my hand that just accidentally destroyed a load of people over there. As you can see down the bottom, this is Thor, God of Thunder. Now this one, pretty cool. You can you can just throw. So if you just right click, which is what I thought was open the door on the space station, you'll see you can throw the hammer and it literally goes through anything and then it comes back to you, which is very cool. Oh, so yeah, that's, that's a little bit destroyed now. I do sort of want to do a pane or two of that. Oh man, that is beautiful. But yeah, something else you can do with this hammer. If you click and then you tap C... You'll notice the hammer keeps on going. There's a distance thing at the bottom. And then you can just right click again and it will come back to you. So what if we line up looking straight down there and sort of go to one side. All right, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Whoa, it's taken the entire space station with it. For my next trick, we're going to punt a hole through the earth. Um, I would go around the dark side of the earth, but the light is coming from this way. So we're going to stick with America. Sorry, America. Yeah, uh, and sorry, Graceful Plays, Florida Man, um, it has gone. I think we can probably go around the back and we can see where does that come out in the world? Aha, it came out there, just randomly in the sea somewhere. All right, we'll call that back. Oh, look, there's like brown chunks in it. Is it a chocolate earth? All right, I am actually going to get around this side. We can see, depending on where we stand or float, I should say, probably about there. We'll see where the hammer passes through the globe. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there it is. Straight through the middle. Right, I've restarted. So we got the space center back. I've always wondered what would happen if a meteor hit the moon. Right, there should be one coming from somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ready? Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> oh, wow. The moon got annihilated. What the frig? Look at that. That's so cool. The moon's on fire. <laughs> the moon is on fire. Uh, uh oh, the moon's, on, the moon's on fire. Look at all those pieces just flying off as well. That's so cool. Uh, I think we'll give it another one. And maybe one over there as well. Just for the bant. Ready? Oh, there it is. There it is. Even more. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. This game's just... I've missed this game. I don't think my graphics card has. But I really have. Uh, there are particles everywhere and all of these they're not just visual like you can interact with them i just punted that one over there i can literally pick these up okay, i got this now this is mine we'll send you to the sun oh i just clicked i accidentally clicked <laughs> i was like what's that noise yeah if you click with this mod turned on meteor oh and it hits through all the little particles as well that's i love this mod i love this mod anyway something i want to do on this map if we go to the omnicutter I want to I go back to my Solar Smash video days. 
And I want to cut the earth in half. So let's go across like that. Oh god, the frame rate. The frame rate is not happy. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, let's try and inspect, take a closer look. I'll tell you what, it's made it a fair way through. Look at that! All right, I think we'll just leave it to do its thing for a while, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, here we go. The final bit is done. I think we've cut all the way through. Yes. Come on, frame rate. Come back to me. Come back to me, frame rate. Are we back? We're back. Oh, oh, sort of, sort of. Not fully, not fully. <laughs> right, now we are. Now we're good. Well, there you go. There is proof. We are definitely cut through the earth. Next. I was going to say next we need to sort of move it, but it looks like it's moving on its own. Oh, man, look at the colors in there. They've got layers. So it isn't just chocolate. It's like a gobstopper. Layers of goodness. Right, so I think it's safe to say we cut the earth in half. That is beautiful. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, let's actually go in here. What's... I feel like the core is, like, glowing, is it? Because the sun's out there, but there's light coming from down here. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm in the core. I'm in the core. It's bright. It's bright. Let's get out of here. All right, next up, I sort of want to see, can I hold this back together? So I noticed in the update, there's this, a cable. I think this is a new sort of material. So I'm wondering, if I were to do that up to there, does it reach? No, I think it's too far. <laughs> it's too far. <laughs> what about planks? Can I stitch the earth back together with planks? I can do one to there and one to there. Yes. <laughs> Right, I'm going to do around the back as well. Oh no, this side doesn't reach. Stick, stick. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, right. Here we go, here we go. We've cabled it. We have cabled it. Oh yeah, I'm going to try and stitch it back together. Don't worry, Earth. I will, I will fix you. <laughs> Love it. It's actually working. It's actually working. Right, looks like we've closed it up nearly. Oh man, it is stretching around... <laughs> I reckon, though, from this side, you can't even tell. You can't even tell. Good as new. <laughs> yeah, I do want to try one thing before we go as well. Let's go to the Thanos snap. Can I disintegrate the moon? I feel like a James Bond villain here. Ready? See you later, moon. This could hurt my frames as well. Oh, I can hear GPU fans. I can hear GPU fans. Look at that, though. It's all coming out the top. Oh, there you go. Look, is this... it is. It's getting disintegrated. <laughs> Oh man, look, it had a core. It had a molten core. And just like that, it is gone. Except for those two bits. Right, well, top half or bottom half? What do you prefer? Northern or Southern Hemisphere? Let's get rid of the Southern. Sorry. Snip. And it sounds like it's doing something, but I can't see anything. <laughs> just photos of the Earth. There's no frame rate anymore. Right, I think Game has said no to that. And at the risk of my computer becoming a fire hazard, I'm going to end there, guys. So peace, love, and stitching the world together with engineering, I guess. Catch you next time. Bye, guys.